So it looks like we're going into game three now. It's been pretty hectic so far just to go through the standings in lobby one. Right now, it seems like Pocky is in the lead with 16 points, followed very closely by Logic Danger at 15, with third and fourth being tied at nine points from MX1 and Kusabara. Lobby two, we have Rolf at the lead with 12 points. Or I'm sorry, TTV Ritos with 13 and a half points. Rolf in second with 12 our Chinese or Japanese, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend, Chinese. I don't actually know what language is Chinese. Um, Speak of him. Maybe we should watch him afterwards. Yeah, I like that. Let's see what he's up to. Yeah. Uh, they've already started the game because uh, we were watching Lobby 2, so let's watch Lobby 1 again. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I know, well, I, I don't know how to read Chinese, but... <laughs> Maybe, maybe... Were you able to add him? Whenever I try copy-pasting his name, it, like, doesn't work. Yeah, I was able to add him. Uh, you were oh, able okay. to. let me try again. No, I think my friends list is just, like, I keep removing people, and then it's saying it's full, and I feel like I've removed... Okay, there we go. It worked. We're gonna watch our Chinese friend here. So, like here we're... he's gonna freeze. He's looking to take a tier 6. Makes sense with Melhouse. He can double sell next turn and buy it right away. Get that tier six hopefully uh let's see uh dragons beasts and demons are banned so you cannot get a callow ghost which is the best min for melhouse too because it has really good way of scaling it just buying lots of battle cries buying mins for uh costing costs only one gold so you can potentially buy like a lot of battle cries in one turn i actually think um Quillbores made Millhouse a lot better as well because Flat Tusk is so good on him. That is true. Uh, Flat Tusk, uh, since you uh, Millhouse buys a lot of mins, you can you can easily get a lot of bludgeons from Flat Tusk. Yeah, and Millhouse is my personal favorite hero in the game. I, I never really understood the hero until I started like just getting better at the game in general. And now I will snap pick Millhouse anytime he's available, even if there's a Jandis, just because I enjoy playing him so much. I, I do love this hero. But he chose we to go for a Brand... five instead of a, a, a six, so. I love Bran Millhouse. So I'm not surprised he went for the Bran here. He does find the Clunker. There is the Leaper. He doesn't go for the Clunker, but we do have the Bran. Let's see what he oh, does. Oh, he did oh, buy the Clunker. Oh, he did. not Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. the Leaper. So he's selling through the elemental is effectively a free unit on a brand. This is just good play just in case he does find like a major domo he'd like to end on at some point. Probably looking to buy the clunker. Probably gonna buff up our mech here. Our micro mummy gets plus four plus four. It's so strong. Could sell through and pick up the leaper and get another six attack on it. We do actually sell, but we're keeping um, the clunker. Here. We're probably gonna Adventure buy the uh, actually he's going for that leaper. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense since we got uh three other mechs right now. Get get yeah, get um twelve attack in total with the brand. This is such a good play. I actually did not even think about this at all, of keeping the clunker and selling out of the Murlocs. I I mean I would have or selling not selling out, selling out uh, just because I was thinking in my head that we may go for a menagerie to get jug value, but this is so much better in the moment. Like I don't know if this is the play I would have done. I don't know if it's necessarily correct, but I at least didn't see this play. So I'm curious to know how this pays off. We do get the tie against Belial, who is on the Lich King. Generally a high tempo hero because of the hero power, but Milhouse economy is just so strong. We Let's see what he finds here. The Geomancer is not bad. It represents plus two, plus two on itself for a set effectively one gold. We decide to skip it. There is a Toxfin. Could Toxfin the Murloc, making him a significantly more relevant unit. I keep rolling, really. unable to find anything too impactful this, here. Maybe a champion pickup it could be possible. He does it one time, but uh, maybe maybe it's not worth it for him. Uh, there is just... the triple and the gambler. This is so interesting. I I really want to know how he's gonna do this. I don't think you would buy the triple. It would be too hard. Uh, you need a lot of board space to be able to buy the double double tide hunter and uh, make enough space for the token to spawn. Yeah, and he agrees. We do skip over. We do Toxfin our Murloc. Probably looking to sell the Toxfin to pick up the Leaper. Sell the Leaper. Might pick up the... Rover. Rover's the Rover makes the most sense here since it has the most stats. I was thinking if there was a way where we get the Rover down. Oh, so he chose actually... Unstable Gold 
thinking that his opponent has probably the bunch of actually we should have checked what he had he was three powered so there is a small chance but if it was mechs for sure picking up yeah goal makes the most sense Let's see if he has any uh any divine shows here pretty i would say we're pretty good for turn eight nothing too obscene it looks like he, he the it looks like the ghoul did not really pay off in fact actually being kind of detrimental to his board a little bit too uh, but yeah the ghoul actually being pretty detrimental to his board hurting him more than hurt the opponent hopefully we can kill the brand we do not we take a lot of damage here taking 15 going down to seven the hook does, does have like a very good boards uh got that full reaper and a brand so he has good scaling bounce trigger for lots of attack if you want like, find some blood gems but the brand every single uh, blood gem uh gem will uh, well, well, the Battlecrash would give him at least two Blood Gems, so we, we can get a Cup. lot of attack with the Ground Shaker. We see Cup, we see Cyclone, I don't know if we're gonna- we do pick it up. There is the Deflecto Bot, which is probably the best mech to buff, but we've already went through so many mech buffs at this point, I don't really know if we can fit that in. I do think that the brand was a little greedy now. Uh, this is the problem with brand is you're really really banking on actually getting good rolls and getting battle cries and when your rolls cost so much it's a little unreliable okay. i would have liked him to take the mithrax but it looks like let's see what he does with this brand still there is the geomancer he chose he not to buy it for... so he does get uh rewarded with another mug and then you can sell it for a deflecto afterwards i think we blood gem the deflect uh, you no. rather uh, play around uh, cleave or something. So uh, yeah, Tonic could potentially play around the cleave or maybe a divine shield lead. Not sure about this positioning. I, I would have liked to see the seventeen ten after the nine six, but we'll see. Maybe he he knows essentially the break points in mind, and if so, this is definitely much better. We'll see what the break points are. It does look like it isn't going to matter too much. All of those minions will be able to take clean kills on his board. This is definitely not the trade we wanted to see. We definitely wanted to see our Divine Shield go into the 197 to allow for more value trades. But it does look like he did low roll the card a little bit. Oh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he's going to have enough stats enough. to beat this. Yeah, the arm is just too powerful. Amalgadon comes down, dealing way more damage than seven. It does look like our mill house is down and out. Looks like uh, Shiny is actually doing some pretty cool stuff. So we could go over and watch Shiny, but Rolf is also at 40 health at Hook Tusk with three triples. Maybe we should. Kinda, yeah, I kind of want to watch Rolf. Uh, on that How did this man do it? He oh. has Golden Agam, double flat tusk. Yeah, this is insane. 40 board. health. I don't know how he could possibly lose from this positioning. He could even tear up, it cost 4 to tear up, and he chose to tear up. Does he have spicy pretzel mustard? <laughs> I don't Cause know. Because he could get it this game. We found a Mugadon and a triple. The question is what he's going to do this turn. He can even buy the gambler for an extra two uh, blood gems. Uh, would he, will he take the triple or would I he? Think, I think... I think he's in a position where he can greet it. I think you just go all in on the Agum and freeze. Like, I don't really think you need to make yourself weaker. You really do want to keep the brand for the Amalgadani. Thing is, if he takes... No, if he takes the Amalgadon, he can also buff it right away with the Agum. Golden Agum. Well, I'm Two saying practice. I guess he wants the Adapts, maybe, right? From Brand Amalgadon. So my opponent has a on comp but he does have that full reaper does a lot of work here oh uh, unfortunately it's the worst hit it could possibly get it actually does look like we might lose this this round so we are actually if this cleaves left we're fine it did not but we are still fine we still do tie wow yeah, fortunately fortunately it's still uh, good enough and the difference is Rolf isn't I I'm honestly so baffled by this board I, I honestly can't get over it. Like, this so he's is going for a triple. Maybe you can get that triple on the flat test. Unable to get it. Buy that gambler. Just free, free, free blood gems. Free two blood. I mean, you buy the Amalgadon, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, this is smart. Get so another two a... blood gems. Yeah. 
probably look, sell the Geomancer. Oh, he's going to hero power. That's even smarter. I guess the Rock Pool Hunter, not really anything to do with it. Just sell it. Potentially could buy one more thing and then sell it and then buy the Amalgadon just to be gold efficient and get more gem generation. I know, oh, I, he's going to use Legends first before uh, buying the Amalgadon, maybe roll. So he does not, he can roll one more time before playing Mugadon, but he can also freeze here for that Blood Gems for that Mugadon. Now he can use he get the rest of the... Yeah, unfortunately, he wasn't but... able to poison, but he's getting so much stats anyway, so likely not even going to matter. Yeah, I mean, if I see this board on turn 11, I would cry. Yeah. <laughs> We got, I, this is disgusting. Rolf, like, you need to take a shower. I'm gonna. I gotta tell him. Yeah, I don't know how how gonna. We we can still sell that brand. Like brand isn't that useful anymore. But we could still get another another Melgadon. If we are able to triple this flat test, then we can have another free slot to do whatever we want. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be. It's gonna be a pretty easy game for uh, Rolf. Here. This is disgusting. You had that full reaper, but it died before it was able to attack. So I, yeah, this is just too much damage. One shots Jay Kurek. Even though he's twenty seven health, we can't kill off his tier six. It's just gonna kill him. Fortunately, he got even though he was pretty strong for uh, what turn eleven. Look, that's just had a two. Uh, too insane board here. You say I'm tavern. speechless, man. <laughs> I am speechless. I, I'm speechless. Like I, I don't know what to say about this. Yeah, just, just too much. That um, a forty health. Like I would understand if he was like at six and he hyper greeted this. Like I, I want to watch this replay. <laughs> I really do. I, I guess you pick up the Tavern Tempest here. I, I don't really know what the what you even like. Anything you do from this point, he'll just win the game. Like there's really nothing that matters at this point, right? Like realistically, what could he do to make this board better? Like it's honestly the brand is your cycle spot. You cycle through, maybe you gold in the fl the, the the flat tusk. Like <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, you know, he's not I, even gonna do anything this turn. Just play Blood Gems. Well, technically, he is doing things. Just. Basically getting free blood gems every single turn. So much stats. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know how I, those points. I think the only way he loses from here is like is if his opponent has like divine shield poisons. Two two maybe two divine shield Mugadons with poison and spores and selfless. Uh, yeah, maybe. Even then, I mean, full oh. reaper and a um. Giant wildfire. I don't know. It's just too. Poison actually mattering there a little bit. Not getting the value trade. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't. <laughs> Nothing matters to any of these. Like, I, I actually think Rolf could literally spend the next, the rest of this game just pressing roll ten times and pressing all of his buttons on the agam and probably still win. Like, there's no way anybody else in this game can even come close. I mean, there's a Toxfin. I guess you take the Toxfin, sell the brand, play the Tavern Tempest, get the gold, and just keep going, but... Well, he doesn't have to so... sell off the brand just yet. Uh, he can potentially triple his brand. Is he going to pick up <laughs> pick up the Unstable Glow? It could be useful for later on. Oh my god. I mean, you could even take the Anomalies, just gold-efficient cards. I don't know. Now we have a full hand, so he doesn't want to use those blood gems before he rolls again. He might even buy buy this turn by like a, a, a mug, for a little bit more stat. Oh, we see another mug oh on my God. and a toxfin, or not toxfin, a, a primal fin. Question is, I sell the brand. I'm gonna. The Toxman, maybe play the Tavern Tempest even just. Anomaly, another extra. A good tactical choice. A 
unable to get anything good out of the Mugadon, so he just doesn't sell it off next time. Did not have enough time to use up all his blood gems, but does it really matter when you have like 70 health minutes? Does it really matter if you're all your blood gems? This is... Wow. I mean, alright, so... Like, we have double cleave, essentially, with the Amalgadon. Okay, I guess here's what we could talk about. Like, how do you... How do you... It, this game, would you say this game is literally just... The placement is based on when you face Rolf? <laughs> 30 damage. Lich King, oh. second most health, but unable to beat. Fucked us. Now we got the borrow. See what we can do. We anything. have the primal fin in hand. Like the poison could be relevant on the small. Um, I mean, at this point, looking for some. There's Ooh, the triple. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. You even buy the boar here. Exactly what you were looking for. Could even buy the boar here. Building, A full repair we can take. Uh, he does have nine cards in hand, so he does have to use uh, some of his cards. So this is a Mogadon. Mogadon doesn't get it. Yeah, I mean, just get that value first before yeah. uh, card. buy the board too. Yeah, and just slam it all on the Agam Thorn Curse. I mean, if he's like super fast, he could even do some battle cry stuff here too. But uh, I don't think it matters honestly. Yeah, he just doesn't care. Like, he's so big. I I don't think I've seen a board this big in so long. Let's see Dude, oh stay. my god. I like, think I'm the only way you're... For it too, so... I don't know, let's see. No. Uh, Not enough stats, this... It's way too big. 80 health minutes. I, I, I haven't killed off one min with... His board on turn 11 could have dealt with Shiny's board here. Honestly, probably. I'm sorry, man. I'm speechless. This is disgusting. He needs to take a shower. 40 health. 40 he every, health. every single fight? No. No, he didn't get shy spicy. He never lost health, though. Well, close, close. 40 health win. That was... That was disgusting. Is the that second was lobby still ongoing? Maybe we can expect it done now. I imagine that lobby is going much faster than this one. I mean, much slower than this one. I mean, we could, this game we could watch uh, Kuspara. Yeah, Kuspara, super high MMR player. He's fantastic. I know a lot of people really like him too. Let's see what he's up to. They're on turn ten. Everyone's still alive. Might be dropping oh, uh, soon though. Yep, he has like Kuspara. Kuspara. With yeah, he's gonna be dead, looks like. Yeah, I can't spectate him, so spoiler alert. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's go. MX1, MX1 has a really strong board. Could Do you want to watch someone who's really strong, or do you want to watch someone maybe less strong? I don't strong think we've right seen now. MX1 play yet, because I think he's one of the few people, because he was pretty high on ladder too. I think at one point he was number one, right, before you overtook him. Oh, uh, no, 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 it was XKN who overtook me, but I did uh, I did briefly get back with number one, when XKN uh, retake uh, number one, but unfortunately I was unable to take it back after XKN took it again. Yeah. And again. <laughs> <laughs> XKN, also a great player. So I, I, I'm in MX1. I actually, I don't think we've seen him play yet, so let's see what he's up to. So you said his board is pretty strong. I mean, he's pretty strong in this Omu, but... Found another the, flat tusk. Would he buy it? Another flat tusk. I think he will buy it. I think he will too. I kind of like this bristleback knight, but unfortunately with the agam, it does not look like it's going to be good enough here. I think he could have even sold his uh, ripstar now, so we can have more board space. Could replace his. Oh, he's going to buy the uh, razor. No, 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 no. I wonder why he sold his minute if he's not going to plan to buy buy something. That's yeah. Right. 
does have this is the bio Calgos just so we can have another archetype here. Start buffing that Calgos up. Yeah, I'm looking. I, so this is awkward, right? Like, would you have kept the Faux Reaper for the Micro Mummy? Mm, maybe. You could, you could probably scale it, but I don't know. I don't know. It, it was already big, so it is somewhat greedy to switch. So it looks like Aletha is actually just a tad bigger than MX1. Playing a similar comp for the Ag, except he's got the Charlie with an engine as opposed to the double flat tusk. I imagine in the late game, the, the flat tusk will definitely outscale even the golden agam just due to the just obscene generation but this round for sure it's super important that Aletha wins there because this will most likely be the last round for a little bit that it's possible for mx1 to lose i imagine i don't really think there's anyone else in the game who's got this combo as well hopefully he goes left to save some health he does not takes an extra one damage actually so let's see, how much damage is this? 18 goes to 10. Definitely unhappy to see that. Could have potentially saved six health, staying at 16. Did not, now very likely looking at next loss equals dead. Picks up the South Sea Strong Arm, has the Hogger, pretty good synergy. Gets the Yoho Ogre, saves the two gold due to the Hogger's ability. Sees the Faceless in the shop with the Jug. Could consider the Jug most likely going to just pick up the Faceless. Let's see what he does. Yeah, seems good. Uh, he might not even do anything this turn, cause, or like, uh, sell off anything this turn, just use up your blood gems and then hold the cards in your hand. Just not to buy any of them, rather just look for blood gems, I guess, or the triple. Better hire a recruit while you can. We have three gold left, we could buy another minute, or we could just use the gold to roll. Most efficient to just uh, buy a minute here, Pro probably thinking to buy that, uh, razor fist. Actually, is no strong shell is not as good. No strong shell is four four. The uh, razor fin. Unfortunately, he did not get uh, another blood gem. He uses to sell off one fleta so he can get a little bit stronger. This Probably looking to end on this boat. I'm guessing. This is just super smart play from MX1, not playing the Geomancer. He doesn't want to eat up any of the Agam buffs. Plays the Geomancer, sells it, buys the boat, plays the boat, busts up the the Thorn. Doesn't get the last two gems off. Doesn't look like it would matter, but could have we'll see it might matter uh, no, no definitely wasn't gonna matter <laughs> looks like this whole comp it looks like res is basically on poison scam and for those of you who have played this game enough know that this is pretty much what you do when you don't have any when you don't really find direction you just go for poison you go for divine shield and you pray that this will get you far enough the boat is actually super strong in this case because it could actually yup exactly why the boat is so strong here but and that don't that believe he has enough stats, him. but I think he should live here. Twenty-four. If health. he kills the, if he, he actually, if he, he actually took down a lot of damage there. Just the champion stays at eight health, right? Three plus four, oh seven. I'm sorry. So it looks like Nazdra moves out. We have Ticketus in the finals. Ticketus very likely. Uh, really really needing to get to next turn i i imagine if we can get to next turn and tickets gets the 14 gold shop he'll be quite happy and probably in a very strong position to win this game but he really needs to win against this mayab he was pretty strong when we saw him so i imagine he'll he should be able to beat the Mayev, the Mayev is just on the poison scam again most likely going to need the read on the poisons hopefully picking up a um a ghoul if he's aware of what the mayev is on but we'll see because this comp can easily just steal wins to people that aren't prepared to play around the poisons camp and the mayev does get two triples this turn so we'll see what he does but we do pick up the brand there is the gas coiler in hand we have quite a few blood gems again super intelligent play making sure to use your blood gems before playing the rest of your hand just so you can concentrate the agam thorn curse buffs on the minis that you actually do care about very look likely looking like we might just play this brand and chill 
there is the argument to not play anything. He does play the gas clear, which means that that is going to be his flex spot, potentially wanting to play the brand so that he could actually triple the gas coiler and free up some board space to even do something with this brand, but probably deciding that it's too unlikely to play around and just going to play normally because this ghost is actually pretty strong. I don't imagine that he's going to be strong enough to actually matter here, but definitely stronger than I thought they would be. Stasi Captain comes hitting down, doesn't take the value trade. We get the value trade. Divine Shield lost on the Bronze Ward, and Charlie does hit the Hogger. Not, again, nothing too spectacular going on here. Just more traditional playing the Ghost, using this as an eco round, and hopefully get agreed next turn and see what we can do. I don't think we're as scared of the Mayev as we are of the Ticketus. I, I imagine the Mayev will most likely be dead here, but you never know with Poison Scam. Oh, they actually live here. They actually tied. Looks like they tied. So the Poison Scam did tie. I'm not, again, not super surprised only because if you don't expect it, you can just lose to it. But it also does mean the next time you play against it, you'll know what to expect and nothing to really be scared about. Just buying Pirates because he has the Hogger. Super gold efficient. Buys the Jug. Good stats. Sees the Myxna. Potentially picking up the Myxna and... The Selfless and Ghoul probably aren't bad pickups either to end on. Selling through the Jug Scallywag might look to use this brand with the Amalgadon. Wait. Oh, the flat test so you can have a uh, board space for uh, the Amalgadon and brand here. Yeah. And... What? I don't know if we should have sold the flat tusk there. Why is that? We should be going all in this turn since we can't get much more value out of the flat tusks. Probably gonna. Uh, the... I'm gonna buy Selfless. Yeah. Really sad that we didn't get a poison on this Amalgadon. Definitely what he was hoping to get. I would potentially consider selling the Amalgadon for the Myxna, but I don't know. What would you do here? Mm, yeah, it might be. Uh, the Amalgadon isn't enough stats, but... I think Calgus uh, is weaker, which, yeah, makes sense. The Vine Shield is worth a lot of value, and uh, then it's not it has a higher chance of hitting uh, my them. Oh, you were correct. It did look like he need to go all in. It does look like we aren't going to be able to get there, unfortunately. We'll see, though. But it just looks like there's just too many stats on the side of Ticketus, and Ticketus did get his four gold. What? What did he take on four gold? On, four, on turn 14, I mean. What do you mean? Uh, the prizes aren't... Uh, er, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. It's, uh, it's, on, it's, on, it's on turn 16 is one. Yeah, turn 16. On turn so, 12, I'm not sure. Oh, he's alive! Oh, on turn 12, he took a Divine Shield. He gave Divine Shield oh, on he... that Blip Guardian. Oh, uh, so, but he will get his. Uh, he will get another prize on turn in uh, two turns from now. Next or turn, one turn, next turn, yeah. Yeah, I, I got it confused. It was turn 12 and then turn 16 because it's every four turns. But uh, so next turn he gets it. There's a good chance he actually does tie the Maev again just because Maev's game plan is pretty straightforward. Um, so he'd probably be looking for maybe like an unstable, but even with unstable, yeah. Legends can buff Spore, Spore out of range. So he's kind of awkward, honestly. Uh, be searching hard here. He doesn't have that much to do now. So sell it off his flat tub. Really kill that well anymore. Uh, he could be looking for like a full reaper. Full reaper would be nice. It looks like he did find a full reaper. It is better than Maxim right now. Question is, is he gonna replace it? I think he should just play for second right now and just try to survive this game. Just lose yeah, the ticket. This. We're going against the Mayev. Ticketus gets the eco round, which means that next turn before going into... I could even see uh, him selling off, like, uh, a, a hogger here. It's just... As, uh, what do you sell it for, though? Maxnet is better against that Ticketus. Or the oh, I, I... Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. The problem... Full Reaper I, I, was definitely necessary. Look, he's going to have lots of devices. Yeah, you're right. It was absolutely necessary. The good news is that this selfless is not going to really get any value here. We do lose the Divine Shield. We'll see where this poison comes. It does hit there. That was probably the best hit for our Faux Reaper. Faux Reaper Just does live, and uh, this champion, I don't think, think it's good enough. It, uh, it, actually, it, depends, no. on, it depends on whether or not that selfless gets... No, yeah. it's not. 
Wait, 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 we win. Yeah, we win, we win. That, it's pretty that... much the worst death rattles you could get, but it does not matter. It is still enough to kill Rez on the Mayev. We have MX1 versus Alietha in the finals, both on similar comps, but Ticket is significantly stronger and getting the turn 16 Ticket, which I think pretty much seals the deal. It's just so strong. Like, turn 16, you can get busted cards. Absolutely busted cards. Yeah, you can easily get in the Divine Shield, or maybe you can, like, copy copy um, the stats of uh, your biggest minions. Yeah, the um, Argent Champion is what it's called, right? I don't remember his exact name. But, yeah, it's a really good uh, min as well, well, if you have high stat mins. There's and even the chance that he gets... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 you can go. I was, I was just saying. Gonna... I was gonna say, there's even the chance he gets this uh, an ice block, right? If he goes for discover other tickets. Yeah, you can discover uh, previous tickets, get get four discovers, discover a, a four four prize, eight prize, and a twelve prize. What do you think about Ticketus in general? Hmm, I don't think it's that great of a hero. If you're able to live to like turn twelve, then you can get like a really good spike turn. Usually, um, four four can help you uh, gain a lot of tempo, on, and then maybe turn eight could give you uh, a, a, the direction for your comp. Yeah, let's see. So he does actually pick up the goal. What did he let's see? What did he pick up? What ticket did he get? I'm not sure. Maybe just discover tickets, I imagine. Probably, and didn't get anything. I mean, you probably just got like rolls and stuff. Maybe. Yeah. So, MX1 does take the second place. So that means we are done with the semifinals. We are moving on to the finals. And I believe the results are in. So, in lobby two, we will be having Belial, Rolf, Shiny, and TTV Ritos moving on to the finals. That means Soren, Jake Carrick, Jan for play, and our Chinese friend are, have been disqualified. Thank you all for coming. It was pretty fantastic to watch you guys play.